money is at the heart of the UK economy and many others. People fight for it, die for it, and put it in China pigs. So what is money? Put simply, money is the best way we have of telling how much money you've got. Over the centuries, many things have been used as money, including amber, wheat, eggs, traveler's checks, feathers, book vouchers, lobsters, beads, gold, leather, nectar points, rice, peas, mugs, and money. It was only the last of these that caught on. Increasingly these days, money isn't something you can hold in your hand or bite on like a pirate because it's stored in the imaginations of computers. And some of those computers are probably here in the Bank of England. But that computer money is in crisis. UK government debt is now one trillion pounds and even Wonga can't help. So who can? Maybe a money expert can tell us what money is and what to do. Who are you and why are you an expert on money? I'm Will Hutton, I'm an economist and I'm an economic writer. What's the difference between economics and economics? Nothing. It's just the way you pronounce the E. I think I prefer economics to economics, but uh, I've, I wonder what... You could put the same question to the Chancellor and the Governor of the Bank of England and see whether they like the hardy or the softy. Hardy or softy? Economics, economics. Economics, economics. OK. Money's all stored in computers these days, no. isn't it? No. How does a computer know what money looks like? How does it know? Well, the, uh, how does it recognise anything? How does a computer recognise, you know... Um, a, um, so you don't know? It's... Uh, you, know, you know in principle, but you don't know in detail, no. Do you know what I think's happened? Someone's told a computer what money looks like. They've gone up to a computer and they've said, this is like a £5 note. And then that computer's told the others. When you have a coin, where is the, the money in that coin? If I were to take a coin and cut it open, could I take the money out of that coin and then it'd be empty? No, the coin is a token. The, the, the whole point about the coins in your pocket is they're universally accepted as a way of buying things. That's what the money is. How much does it cost to make a one pence piece? Because it's, if it's less than one pence, then it's a con, isn't it? But if it's like more than one pence, then do you see what I mean? Yeah. It's sort of not yeah. worth it then. Yeah, yeah. It costs a tiny amount of money to um, create a one penny piece. And that's so not they're the ripping us off. It seems no one really knows what money is. It will always be an unsolvable problem, like a crossword or a Rubik's Cube. Next time on Moments of Wonder, I'll be asking why there's more water in a tap than you'd expect. <laughs>